Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum has held this line of support, seeing a nice bounce in the immediate short term. In just a moment, I'll be talking about whether or not this is the bottom for the correction, and I'll also reveal some huge warning signals forming right now for Ethereum, and I'll be covering some other important Ethereum charts later in this video. So definitely make sure you're watching all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe but with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. Simply clicking the like button and the subscribe button down below costs you nothing, but it honestly helps out the channel a lot and I seriously do appreciate all of your support. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame, just to give you a final follow up from this potential bear flag that was forming over the past few days. I did let you know in yesterday's Ethereum update video when we were down here, saying that technically speaking, this pattern did end up forming. We saw the break to the downside and a rejection from this level. So at that point in time, technically speaking, we did activate the price target for this pattern, but I'll let you know that there's two ways that price target will be invalidated. Either if we hit the price target to the downside, that is obviously the first way. And the second way that that price target is invalidated is simply if the Ethereum price crosses back above this line right here, which as I let you know yesterday, was coming in at around 4.2K. So the moment we got above that level right there, that was when the price target for this bear flag was invalidated and basically turned all of this price action right here into a fake out. And this is just another reason why you need to be following me over on my Twitter for extra real-time updates throughout the day because around 16 hours ago, I sent out this tweet just here saying that the bear flag is now invalidated. And by the way, I have a link to my official Twitter account in the description down below and also linked in the pinned comment. Now zooming out to the 12 hour time frame for Ethereum. And of course, what we can see here is the fact that Ethereum has continued to hold this immediate line of support, which is the 38.2% Fibonacci level coming in just below 4.1K, close towards around 4,000 US dollars. And of course, we've been looking at that support level on the channel for over two weeks now. Even when Ethereum was all the way back up here at around 4.7K, I'll let you know that the moment we break below this upwards trending line of support, then it's very likely that Ethereum would go straight down to this exact level and then we would enter a sideways consolidation holding this level right here. And of course, that has played out very nicely so far. And once again, we've continued to hold this line of support, seeing another short term bounce. But even though we have experienced a little bit of bullish price action in the immediate short term, we haven't necessarily confirmed a full recovery just yet because from where Ethereum is right now at the time of filming this video, technically speaking, it does still remain a possibility that we could have one more leg to the downside. But with that being said, and as I've been mentioning basically every single day over the past week, I'm not betting on a move to the downside. I'm simply starting to dollar cost average into Ethereum at the current values. So how would we know what Ethereum's next move is about to be? Well, first of all, if we simply break below this support line, really around 4,000, if we break below 4,000 with strong confirmation, then it is quite likely it would head down towards around 3.7k give or take but if we continue to hold this level of support then putting in another higher high and starting to actually make some higher lows on the chart as well that is one of the main signs on the chart that I personally pay attention to to actually confirm any sort of recovery that's playing out for Ethereum but as of right now while Ethereum is still holding within this short term sideways consolidation it's basically just a waiting game and now zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum to give you another quick update on this huge cup and handle pattern that actually formed months ago on the charts and we broke out to the the upside during October and obviously saw a lot of bullish price action moving forward. And since this entire pullback that we've just seen over the past few weeks, I have been getting a few questions about this huge cup and handle pattern asking whether or not it's still valid because I was covering this pattern quite a lot back here during October, especially just before the major breakout. And the answer to that question is yes, this pattern is still valid while we're holding above this line right here coming in at around 3.8k. So for as long as Ethereum is once again above 3.8k, this price target is technically still valid all the way up until we finally hit that price target. And then at that point, obviously this pattern is fully completed. And by the way, the technical price target for this huge cup and handle pattern is coming in at around 6,200 US dollars. But keep in mind, Ethereum doesn't necessarily have to hit that price target by any particular date. For example, Ethereum could take as soon as a few weeks to get up towards that price target or as long as a few months. It's just as long as we're holding above 3.8K. Once again, this price target is still active on the chart. And just before I get into this new pattern forming right now on the Ethereum chart that we need to be paying attention to, I'll really Really quickly mention the huge Cyber Monday sale happening over at Unstoppable Domains. This is mainly for those that missed my Bitcoin update video. But as I said in that video, I'll only be talking about this sale happening today because it's only available today. And you can find a link to this page in the description down below. In fact, it will be the first link in the description and the first link in the pinned comment. And what's different about the domains over on Unstoppable Domains compared to other domain providers is the fact that these domains are minted as NFTs on the Polygon blockchain. And they're not just .com domains, they're .crypto.wallet 
www.blockchain.x. And so if you buy an NFT domain, you now own that domain, which then you can use it for yourself or you can actually hold it and sell it to someone else later on. And this whole buy one, get one free is actually a big deal because they've got no limit on this. Seriously, they've got these premium domains over here like pay.x, usd.x, pay.bitcoin. And that buy one, get one free deal that's only available today even works on these domains. Seriously, it has no limits. And as I just mentioned, you can actually sell these domains if you want to, which obviously makes this whole buy one, get one free sale today very profitable. But anyway, if you want to check it out for yourself, once again, the first link in the description and the first link in the pinned comment will take you to this page right here. Now, getting into this importance Ethereum charts right now, this is actually on the three day time frame for Ethereum. And what we can see here is this potential rising wedge pattern that is currently forming on the charts. And the reason why I say potentially forming is because we've only got two touch points along this line of resistance. And really, we should be looking for three touch points. But with that being said, we've now got three touch points along this line of support. So technically speaking, some may argue that this is now a valid pattern on the charts, but we haven't confirmed any sort of price target because we haven't actually broken any support or resistance just yet. And what's very interesting about the three day chart right now for Ethereum is looking in the RSI on the three day time frame, we've got a massive lower high structure forming in the RSI and also more recently a higher low structure, which means the RSI is entering into a tightening range, also known as the symmetrical triangle pattern, which basically means that Ethereum is coiling up ready for an absolutely massive move. If we see the three day RSI have a strong break below this line of support, then obviously it's more likely for Ethereum to experience a move to the downside. But if the three day RSI sees a strong break above this point of resistance, then in that case, it's very likely the price of Ethereum would explode to the upside. And by the way, this line of resistance in the three day RSI for Ethereum is coming in at around 70 and the support is coming in at around 50. But talking about the support and resistance in the price action, right now the resistance is coming in at around 5,000 US dollars approximately and the support is coming in at just below 4,000. And now taking a quick look at the Ethereum dominance chart on the daily time frame. For the beginners out there, this chart basically shows us Ethereum's market share across the entire crypto market. So for example, right now we're sitting at around 20 on this chart, meaning that out of all of the money in crypto altogether, about 20% of it is sitting in Ethereum. So obviously if this chart goes to the upside, that is bullish for Ethereum against other cryptos. But if this chart goes to the downside, that is bearish for Ethereum against other cryptos. But that's not necessarily bullish or bearish against the US dollar, because once again, this chart is only relative to the rest of the crypto market, not relative to the US dollar. And what we can see here is this huge range of resistance forming ever since May this year. And so basically, if the Ethereum dominance can start breaking above around 21%, putting in a brand new higher high on the chart, then that would be extremely bullish for Ethereum in terms of its performance against the rest of the crypto market. Because a move like that would mean that Ethereum is stealing market share away from other cryptos. And of course, a bullish move like that in the Ethereum dominance chart would also be bullish for Ethereum valued against Bitcoin. Right now, this is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the one day time frame. And what we can see here is obviously a huge symmetrical triangle forming right now. And this point of resistance is coming in at around 0.077 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so if Ethereum simply breaks above that level with confirmation, then once again, that is very bullish for Ethereum against Bitcoin. And so a bullish move like that on this chart means that Ethereum would be outperforming Bitcoin's gains. Or if Bitcoin is bearish against the US dollar, for example, while Ethereum is moving to the upside against Bitcoin, that would mean that Ethereum is holding up better against the US dollar while Bitcoin is losing more value in that case. But as of right now, we have not confirmed a breakout just yet. So keep in mind, it still remains a possibility that we could see a bit of a rejection here further to the downside. But this is still definitely something that I'm keeping an eye on moving forward for Ethereum. And if you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. As always, I honestly do appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. And before you click off, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. I've got a trading tutorial video showing you how I place trades over on Bybit. And I've got a video here as well showing you how I earn passive income every day on my crypto holdings. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.